Today we have the poem, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, written by Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou is one of the literary giants of African-American literature. She was a dancer and civil rights activist, a fighter. Uh, she wrote religious songs which were sung in churches all over the world. She has also written uh, many poems. She has worked hard for the cause of the African Americans. So the poem we have now is, I know why the caged bird sings. So let's go into the poem. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun's rays and dares to claim the sky. So we have the imagery. The starting itself is with the imagery of a bird. A bird who is just soaring into the wind. He is seen to be just gliding in the wind. She says that he is leaping onto, uh, onto the wind. And you know he is just going to float and fly and glide over it. He is floating downstream till the current ends and he dips his wings in the orange sun's rays. You know, the whole, this whole paragraph gives you the imagery of a bright sky of the sun and the wind. So now we are going to see a comparison between a free bird and a bird who is in a cage. He dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. The bird who is free, he believes that the whole sky belongs to him. He knows where all he may fly where all he may spread his wings and he is literally bathing in the sunlight we can say. Now we are going to come to compare this free bird to the bird in the cage. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. So the caged bird, he is in a narrow cage. You have seen how a bird in a cage would be. The caged bird just walks up and down in a small cage. And why does the poet call the bars of rage? What does that mean? That is there is so much anger. There is so much unhappiness in being behind these bars that they, they are not merely physical bars which prevent a bird from flying out. They are the bars of rage. So much rage that would prevent the bird from even seeing beyond the cage. So the bird's wings would be clipped. The owner does not want the bird to fly away even if it gets a chance. Even if the cage should be opened one moment, the bird is still unable to fly because its wings are clipped. His feet are tied and so what does he do? He does the only thing he can do and that is he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown and longed for still. And his tune is heard in the distant hills for the caged bird sings of freedom. So the caged bird is singing. There is so much of passion. There is a fearful thrill in his voice. He is thing, singing of things that are unknown. He does not even know what he is singing of. He is singing about freedom. The freedom that he desires and this tune is heard on the distant hill. It is heard everywhere because his voice or his sound is carrying his message. The caged bird sings of freedom. So here the poet is making us understand that freedom is intrinsic. Freedom is the natural state of every living creature. All of us are entitled to freedom. Our, we all deserve freedom. So... So here we see the free bird. Now again we come back to the free bird. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade wind soft through the sighing trees. 
and the fat worms waiting on a lawn, a dawn lawn, dawn bright lawn, and he claims the sky his own. He names the sky his own. So here we see that from one breeze, the free bird, no, he's fed up of uh, being on one breeze or on one stream of wind. He simply changes. He changes on to another breeze. He flies to another area. And he is now between the sighing trees, the rustling leaves. So this imagery of rustling leaves of the sunlight, what do they show us? They are all symbols of freedom. Nature is free and it is for all the creatures on this earth. And he is also dreaming of the fat worms. That is his food, his meal, which he likes, which he can choose. It is on the dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own. This, that is his world. That is his land. No one dare say where he will fly or what he will eat. The ca but a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. But the caged bird at the same time, what is the caged bird doing? He stands on the grave of dreams. All his dreams of freedom, of flying into that beautiful, wonderful sky. That is never going to happen. So he is standing on the grave of his dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His waking hours are a nightmare. His wings are clipped and his feet are bound. And so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful thrill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard in the distant hills for the caged bird sings of freedom. So that is the poem. And we see the contrast between the free bird and the caged bird. Here Maya Angelou is singing about her people, about the African-American struggle which has been ongoing through the past centuries and is still continuing. We know the history of slavery how many people were enslaved from their native lands. They were brought into America. They were made, they were just like the bird. They were caged. They had no freedom. They had no names. They were named only as the slaves of the slave owner. They had no names. They had no dreams. They were tied to their plantations where they had to wake up in the morning. They were beaten if they were late for work. They had to pick cotton, they had to pick the potatoes, they had to do all the work. Throughout the day, they had to wear what was given to them. They were chained, they were beaten. And this anguish, this lasting horror that lives on in the African-American past, this is what is symbolized by the caged bird. He is in a cage with the bars are bars of rage because that is the sort of rage that would have filled those people as they worked hard and desired their freedom. Here the poet says, the caged bird sings with a fearful thrill of things unknown. What is this unknown thing? There were many people who were born into slavery, lived in slavery and died in slavery. Never in their life did they know a moment of freedom. So throughout what do they do? They sang. They opened their throats to sing. And because that was the only thing that they were able to do. But we see that the repetition comes. The caged bird sings. The caged bird sings. And opens his throat to sing. So this shows the African-American war or fight that they conducted right from the beginning. And we also see pictures of slaves singing while they are working and this imagery of the caged bird this is actually taken Maya Angelou herself has taken it from Paul Dunbar's song called Sympathy. In this Sympathy he gives the image of a caged bird for the African-American slaves and he says 
do not think that they were singing happily they were singing gaily you know when a work person sings a person who's working in a field is singing people say oh he's singing a happy song no it is not a happy song it is a plea to heaven a plea to anywhere that prayer will reach that i want my freedom that is the meaning of the song so here we can also see that there was a rise in african american song songwriters also not only the poets on one side there was the poets on the other side they were the singers the singers who came on to the stages and promoted black music into this world they too sang of their struggles langston hughes sings i am the american brother i too am a brother of america but i am the darker brother of america today you will tell me to sit in the kitchen and eat when there are guests you will tell me to go to the kitchen but i will eat and i will grow strong and tomorrow when the guests come you will not tell me to go into the kitchen you cannot because i will sit with the guests and i will eat and they will see how beautiful i am that is what langston hughes sings so maya angelou is actually showing us the struggle that the black american community even today continues there are many areas in which racism still prevails and the war still continues the caged bird will not sit quiet the caged bird will sing about freedom until he gets freedom that is the message that the poet is trying to give us and even if we do not take it in the context of african american literature the poet could be a spokesperson for anybody who is marginalized anybody who is treated as the other who is not mainstream it could be women it could be the poorer communities it could be people who are refugees people whom the world thinks that you know they do not need freedom so here when we see the Uh, the condition we also have to give importance to the passages about the free bird because the free bird is also unaware of the problems of the caged bird the free bird will not understand the problems of the caged bird and that too is happening so in a way the world needs to be educated about the problems of those who are marginalized because those who are in the center or the supposed center would never have had to face the problems of those who are marginalized so they need to understand where this privilege comes from are they standing on the shoulders of others to get their freedom or their privilege so maya angelo in her book to a letter to my daughter she writes to people all over the world in that she writes a message which i feel is very important for every student this is a poem which is usually there in the 9th grade 10th grade any passing out classes or the 12th grade so in this book a letter to my daughter she says that you will wear a tasseled cap on the day that you graduate from your school but through the fringes through the tassels of that cap you must see the inequality in the world you must see the horrible cruelties that is going on the unbearable loneliness the broken heartedness the stories of survival and this graduation certificate that you have you must use to bring a change in all these conditions that prevail in the world and that is what your education is about so she is a giant of american african american literature and there are a great many poems of hers that uh, are very important thank you I know why the caged bird sings by Maya Angelou A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage His wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to sing the caged bird sings 
with a fearful thrill of things unknown but longed for still and his tune is heard on the distant hill for the caged bird sings of freedom the free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade wind soft through the sighing trees and the fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own but a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams his shadow shouts on a nightmare scream his wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to sing the caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still and his tune is heard on the distant hill for the caged bird sings 